Good morning, everyone. Good to see you this morning. The, the week preceding the crucifixion of Jesus is the holiest week for Christians. On Sunday, Jesus entered Jerusalem, and all these people came out, and they were shouting praises to God. The palm tree and the garments on the floor. I bet the donkey that Jesus was riding was even excited about that day. People were shouting and, and praising him. And they were saying, according to Mark chapter 11, verse 9 and 10, Praise God. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on the king, coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Praise God in the highest heaven. What's interesting is that Jesus didn't have a lot of reaction to this. Maybe he did, but at least when I read the book of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they don't record a lot of response from Jesus. In fact, Mark says Jesus went to the temple, looked around at everything, and then he went home. Next day, Jesus comes back to the temple, and he starts to drive people out and turn the tables, saying that people had made the temple of God into a marketplace, what he calls a den of thieves. And he shouts to them and say, the scriptures declare, Jesus says to the people, the scriptures declare, my temple will be called the house of prayer for all nations. Jesus says the temple is to be a house of prayer. That's how important prayer is to Jesus. A place where you call upon the name of God. If we liken the temple to the church today, Jesus says, my church, my home, my church family will be a place of prayer for all nations. Not a house of praise. We spend so much time trying to figure out what songs to play, what style to play, who should we get those songs. But Jesus says, are you praying? Not what sermons to preach. Even the sermons are important as we share the word of God like I'm doing right now. And praise is important. Singing songs of glory to God is very, very important. But Jesus, the first and foremost on his mind is not a sermon nor a praise. But he says, are you praying? Are you praying? Revelations chapter 8, we get a glimpse of the throne of God. And before the throne is this golden bowl. And the Bible says that bowl is filled with the prayers of the saints. Prayer is so important to God. It is in the plural form there. And the Bible says that prayer is an, a sweet aroma unto the Lord. One of the things I enjoy doing when I have time is to bake rustic bread. I love it. You get the right amount of, of flour with the right amount of gluten. You get a nice warm water, about 93 degrees or so, and you mix it up. And by the time you're done mixing, it should be about, I don't know, 90, 89 degrees or something like that. You add the salt, you add the right amount of yeast, and you mix it all up again, and you let it, you let it sit there and rest. But my favorite part, even though mixing is such a wonderful process for me, I enjoy it very much. But my favorite part is when that, when, when that, dough is baked and it comes out of the oven and that, that, that smell of freshly baked bread, nothing can beat it. The Bible says this, the Bible says your prayers are like freshly baked bread. There's an air freshener in heaven and it's your prayers, friends. As we spend this week thinking about what Jesus did on the cross, why don't we take some time to pray to God? Paul says in Romans 12, be faithful to prayer. This week, walk with God. Talk with God. You know, with COVID-19 happening, people are anxious and they're concerned. Why don't you let those concerns be known to God? God would love to hear it from you. Pray for your family. Spend some time reflecting on, where am I? This is a very rare time where we have time to think through these things and go, hmm, am I living the life that God has called me to live? Am I living that greatness that God has seated me to live? Spend the time with Jesus this week and fill the air in heaven with the aroma of your prayer. I leave you with these two verses today, Hebrews chapter 4, 16. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God, there we will receive His mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most.
And then James 4, 8, come close to God and God will come close to you. May you spend this week getting close to God and you can be sure that God is close to you. God bless you, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.